Hello everyone, I'm bringing you another unboxing video today. We haven't actually had an unboxing video on the channel for a little while now, and what we're looking at here are some recently arrived Dutch items, and these are once again courtesy of Kevin Mills. He found me a pair of boots, and there are some other bits and pieces as well, so thank you very much indeed Kevin for that, and we'll have a look at what's arrived now. So here we have the interesting looking box of tricks which have arrived from the Netherlands. I'll put this to one side and we can have a look at the various bits and pieces in a bit more detail. So the first thing to have a look at here is this set of straps. Now these are carrying straps for the respirator haversack or gas mask bag. And these are of course of Canadian design but used by the Netherlands Army as well. If we have a look at this here, you've got the shoulder strap. You can get these untangled from around themselves. There we go. You've got the shoulder strap coming up there and then the waist strap and hook here. Now, Kevin noticed in one of my previous videos, I had one of these where the hook had broken, the plastic hook had broken, so he sent me these as a gift, which is very kind of him. So they're basically made exactly to the Canadian design because, of course, the uh, Netherlands Army made use of both the Canadian C3 respirator and Canadian type gas mask bags or respirator haversacks, I guess you could say. So they use the carrying system as well. Next thing to have a look at here, we have oh, plastic bag here. I'll just get these out of the plastic bag. Excuse the rustling. A pair of Dutch issue socks, which complement basically what I've purchased, which Kevin sent to me. Again, these were gifted to me, so thank you very much, Kevin. 45 to 46, so in my size. So uh, you can see there, 70% wool, 30% polyester, I'd imagine that would be. You can see there, move on to the next thing here. We have a set of the uh, insoles, which are very similar to those used both by the British Army and the uh, US Army as well. These uh, mesh insoles, Boven and 45 there, 45 being the size. So these are slightly smaller than the boots I've bought. Nevertheless, again, a gift from Kevin. Thank you very much indeed. And the, here we have the boots. Now these are the, the Dutch M66 boots, and these are a little bit worse for wear, but not expensive. So thank you very much for picking these out for me, Kevin. They've been improperly stored and got a bit squashed and so forth. So I'll need to get some polish into these and wear them around a bit. Uh, there is a bit of wear on the soles, as you can see, but they're nevertheless not in bad condition. And I'd like to, as say, soften these up a bit, improve them, deal with the metal work a little bit perhaps, try and get that sorted out, get some cure rust on the, uh, the metal components there and clean up the leather. So basically try and restore these a little bit for, for use. And they're, they're a nice pair of boots, these. Uh, we can see the details on the sole here, if we get the light on there. You can see the size at the top there of 46, which is my size in these boots. I can wear a 45, but I prefer a 46. So wearing these around a bit, get some polish into them, and as I say, deal with the metal work, get some cure rust on that, return it to black, or clean them up with a very small wire brush I have, get the leather cleaned up as well, and then get some cure rust on them to stop them rusting any further. That's the idea with these. So pleased with those, and nice addition to the, the Dutch kit, those there. Might replace the laces as well, possibly, given these have got stained with rust as well, or at least take them out and give them a clean. Um, so it'd be nice, it'd be enjoyable uh, basically trying to bring these back and restore them a little bit. And then finally, Kevin has also sent me a pot of Dutch brown shoe polish, which I'm, I'm actually not going to open, just in case I, I drop it and spill any on the blanket or anything. But this is brown shoe polish uh, in a, obviously the issue version, I believe, in this plain brown tin. So I might use this, I might use some other brown polish I have, I might just keep hold of this as part of the collection possibly. Uh, but yes, so brown boot polish as well to help deal with the boots. So thank you very much indeed, Kevin, both for finding the boots for me and obviously sending them over and gifting me the other accessories, the other bits and pieces. It really is much appreciated. Thank you. So hopefully you found it interesting looking at this. The boots are not essential. The earlier pattern of boots were used right the way through to the end of the era I'm interested in, basically the end of the Cold War. But it is nevertheless nice to have these. They allow for a bit of variety in recreating kit of the time. So nice to have a pair of these, as I say. I think they'll need to be worn a little bit and have some polish and so forth applied, try and soften these up a little bit again. But that, hopefully, if it's successful, that'll be quite satisfying to do and obviously clean up the metalwork a little bit and so forth as well. That's the idea. Hopefully you found it interesting looking at this. If you have and you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, 
please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, the notification button down below. That will, of course, alert you when I upload future videos. That's everything for this video. So until next time, bye for now.